In this example, we're asked to find the difference quotient given by f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h for the function f of x equals the square root of the quantity x minus 5. We're also told to simplify the answer by rationalizing the numerator. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is figure out what f of x plus h is. And the way we do that is we go to f of x and wherever you see an x, you're just going to put an x plus h. So f of x plus h equals the square root of instead of x, we're going to put x plus h. And then don't forget, I also have a minus 5 underneath that radical. Now, I normally put my x plus h in parentheses. Sometimes we need them, sometimes we don't. Do I need them in this case? No. So all I have is the square root of x plus h minus 5. So now I've found f of x plus h. We were given f of x, so now we're ready to find the difference quotient. So there's the difference quotient, and it's going to equal f of x plus h that we just found that is the square root of x plus h minus 5 minus f of x, our function, the square root of x minus 5, all divided by h. Now, can we simplify anything in this expression? The two radicals in the numerator, unlike, can't combine, so it doesn't look like there's anything else we can do. But when we get to calculus, we won't want to leave the expression like this because in calculus, we need to figure out what happens when h approaches zero. You can see in this case, if h was zero, the expression is undefined. So that's why we were told to simplify the answer by rationalizing the numerator. Normally, we rationalize the denominator, but in this case, we're going to rationalize the numerator. And how do we rationalize a numerator or denominator? You multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate are the same two expressions with the opposite sign between them. So I'm going to have the square root of x plus h minus 5. Instead of minus, I'm going to have plus the square root of x minus 5. And since I'm multiplying the numerator by the conjugate, I have to multiply the denominator by the exact same thing. So I'm also going to multiply my denominator by the conjugate. The reason we multiply by the conjugate is when I multiply two conjugates together, I always get the difference of two squares. But in this case, I'm going to prove it to you. So first is the square root of x plus h minus 5 times itself. So I have the square root of x plus h minus 5 all squared. Outer, this square root times that square root. So I'm going to have plus the square root of x plus h minus 5 times the square root of x minus 5. Inner, I'm going to have negative the product of these two radicals. So I'm going to have negative the square root of x minus 5 times the square root of x plus h minus 5. And last, a negative times a positive is a negative. The square root of x minus 5 times the square root of x minus 5 is the square root of x minus 5 all squared. And that whole mess is divided by h times the conjugate of the square root of x plus h minus 5 plus the square root of x minus 5. Now don't multiply out the denominator, leave it as is. 
Now notice in the numerator, the two middle terms, it's the product of the two radicals with opposite signs. So these two add up to zero. So I'm just left with the difference of two squares. So when I square this square root, I'm just going to get x plus h minus 5 minus the square of the square root of x minus 5, which is minus the quantity x minus 5. Notice I must put parentheses around the x minus 5 since I'm going to subtract this whole expression. All divided by the same denominator, we're just going to leave it as is. Now all we have to do is simplify the numerator. I'm going to get x plus h minus 5. Distribute in the negative. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. All divided by that nasty looking denominator. And now finally, notice in the numerator, I have x minus x that add up to 0, negative 5 plus 5 that adds up to 0. So the only thing left in my numerator is h, and that is divided by h times the square root of x plus h minus 5 plus the square root of x minus 5. Can anything simplify now? Yes, the h's reduce. And so in the numerator, I'm going to get 1 divided by this denominator. Sorry, I'm running out of room. I have the square root of x plus h minus 5 plus the square root of x minus 5. And that is the simplified answer for this expression. I know this does not look any simpler than this expression, but in calculus, when we figure out what happens when h approaches zero, this expression is defined, whereas this one is undefined.